After a summer of Olympic vibes, it's back to business and the new political reality. Welcome to People and Profit, I'm Yuka Royer, and this week we are at the annual summer seminar of France's largest employer federation, MEDEF. Corporate France is gathering under a huge cloud of uncertainty following inconclusive parliamentary elections earlier in the summer. This year's theme here is simply power, with 2024 being a big election year, including one here in France that led to political chaos, two wars waging on Europe's doorstep, and trade tensions and protectionism on the rise, businesses are facing many unknowns. We asked some of the leaders gathered here what their top concerns are at the moment. Well, as CEO of Business France, my biggest concern is that we have to keep a tax politics and a labor market very attractive for foreign investors. This is what we have done since 2017. It works because France is the leader in terms of FDI in Europe since 2019 now. So we have to carry on this way and we have to keep this politics. When you vote, you, you, it's not just a vote. You choose for your life, you choose for your children, you choose for your future, you choose for everything. So it can be impacted uh, in companies through uh, anxiety issues, depression issues, difficulties with colleagues to communicate because it can be very um, uh, difficult to express your own opinions, especially in your own company. So there is a huge, huge impact in France. Uh, you know, we are in a very fast-changing environment. What we need is a minimum of visibility uh, as far as public policies are concerned in, in France and in Europe, uh, of course. I think that the, uh, um, the decisions made by the future European Commission are going to be uh, uh, very important, particularly when it comes to uh, the green transition, which is uh, extremely important. And what we need to secure uh, for the future uh, is an abundant and affordable energy on the one side, on the other side also the access to raw materials. I think these are the three major topics that come to my mind at this point in time. The whole instability that we see in France, in the rest of the world, the wars, inflation or pressures, I think it's an opportunity for the continents, for our continents, first of all to redefine the relationship that we have with the rest of the world, but also because we're home to the fastest growing economies in the world, we're, grown, we're home sorry, to the youngest population in the world, and I think there is a huge potential which is untapped. President Emmanuel Macron's decision to call a snap election resulted in a political stalemate, with both a left-wing coalition and the far-right national rally gaining seats. Fabrice Le Sachet is the vice president of MEDEF. He joins us now to give his take on the new political landscape. Fabrice, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Hello, good morning. Now, first of all, how has corporate France digested the outcome of the election? Look, uh, the political situation is unknown in France because our political system allows for clear-cut majority, usually. Now we are in a situation where we have three blocs and we need coalition. It's not our political culture, but many countries around us, from Italy to Netherlands to Belgium, are used to deal with it. So we think that we'll be able to settle the situation somehow at some point. Of course, it's not the best situation for businesses because a business needs confidence uh, to invest. And of course, the situation is slowing down uh, the level of uh, investments and also uh, our uh, pro-business policy that we uh, uh, had since uh, seven years is, is at stake. So of course, we are pushing for uh, this uh, policy to continue. Now, as you mentioned, this is really an unprecedented situation. How has the business climate be, uh, be, been impacted by this? And also, how has it impacted foreign investment? The economic fundamentals of France are very robust, are very strong. We uh, had uh, enjoyed one of the largest growth uh, rates in the last years in the Eurozone. They had uh, many reforms, for example, the corporate tax go down from 33% to 25%. Uh, percent. We had a uh, gain on capital tax, a flat tax of 30%. That is very important. We also made many reforms for our educational system. Many young people are choosing professional, vocational uh, trainee. It's very helping the industry to bounce back. We attracted lots of foreign investment. So the fundamentals are good. 
because of the reforms that were made. We need to continue that direction, and this is why we are fighting so much, because we know what it costs to lose the industry. France has lost a lot of industry in the last 30 years, and all the pro-business policy that are since seven years are only starting to produce effects. We need to accelerate, and we have lots of issues for uh, state reforms, public spending, and tax rate, which is uh, still high, and the time of uh, work. We are working less than our competitor. And to face China, to face United States competition, you need really to be very agile, very fast, very strong with a pro-business policy and incentives. Now, despite this political uh, limbo of the past few weeks, uh, a recent poll, a recent survey by the National Statistics Agency, INSEE, showed a slight uptick in the business climate over the summer in, in the month of August. Is this a one-off thing, or do you think this optimism will carry on, will continue? Look, we had the Olympic Games that show excellency uh, of French uh, corporation, and we have a little boost in the growth statistics. We expect uh, plus 0.3 percent growth thanks to the Olympic Games. Second quarter was not so bad. We see that the manufacturing sector is uh, going a bit, uh, a bit down, chemistry, uh, uh, we see also that other sectors are doing good, defense industry, uh, aeronautics, uh, so it's balanced, but of course we see a level of uh, bankruptcy that is increasing a little bit, uh, we see that the interest rates are still uh, a bit high. Uh, to cope with the need of financing and we have mountains of investment ahead with uh, decarbonation, digitization. So of course we need to accelerate, the world is not waiting for us. And as you just mentioned, inflation has started coming down, has got, come down quite a lot, uh, but the recent election still shows that the cost of living crisis is still high on people's minds and it can move uh, people's uh, opinions as well. How are businesses responding to these needs of the consumers? So first of all, uh, we increase salary. We increase salary higher than inflation because in France, inflation now is around 2% in the last 12 months. Uh, salary growth was plus 3.2%, so it's higher. The best way to give bargaining power to employees is not to raise tax, is not to raise a high salary, you will create uh, unemployment and you will put many companies bankrupt. The best way is to help them for housing, so to build a lot of housing to make this real estate market go down. We need this policy of investment, we need uh, to have less price for energy, for mobility, and this is only by investing not by constraining, by putting price cap. It's never worked in history. We are not a Soviet country. We need to uh, still continue to make uh, things that are rational in uh, economic, and that's why we are fighting the extreme left here and their uh, craziness, their proposals that will just increase public spending in a country that is already a very high rate or increase uh, the tax rate. It's not working. You will get less money for the state. When the corporate tax went down in France, the states make more money because you stimulate the economy. And this is a fact, you know, when the corporate tax went down 33% to 25, the state got 60 billion instead of 30 billion euro. So ideas such as pegging uh, salaries to inflation or raising the minimum wage are not uh, good ones. No, but uh, it's true that some uh, workers are collapsing, have difficulties uh, to live with their salary. But this is not the fall of the company that increased the salary higher than inflation. This is the, the, the cause is the cost of work between what a company pays and what the uh, worker receives. There is a big gap. This is all kind of cotization for pension, for this, for that. And it costs a lot because we have people going uh, in pension at 62 years old. Now we have a reform for 64. But we need that people work more. We have a demographic uh, shock. So if people work more, we can reduce this, ta this tax, this cotization. The president of MEDEF uh, suggested that we have pension fund. We don't have this in France. So if we do this, people will get more money at the end of the month. Now, France's new government inherits a huge debt pile of over 3 trillion euros uh, and a, a def budget deficit of, a, of over 5% of GDP. And, a, and Parliament needs to vote on a new spending bill for next year. It needs to be presented in Parliament uh, by October. 
um, how will the current political stalemate affect that? Yes, you know, we need to face the debt uh, crisis because there is some kind of magical thoughts from some people that are populist that say that we can live with a high debt. It's not true. The spread between Germany and France is increasing uh, and it costs more and more. And every year the interest rate for our debt costs the budget of uh, education or for our army. It's unsustainable. So we need really to be serious about it. We need to come back after the 2008 crisis and the Covid crisis, the debt has uh, skyrocketed. But most of the debt is uh, supporting, not investment, it's supporting the cost of the state that is too high. We need to reform the French state to give more margin of investments. Now, outside of France, the world is holding its breath for the US presidential election, the outcome of which could uh, have huge impact on global trade. Uh, China, with, uh, trade tensions with China are rising, not just with Washington, but with the EU. How is this going to have an impact on the French business climate? But US being uh, the largest economy in the world, the elections are very important there and they are being uh, followed. Uh, uh, we cannot comment, it's their internal uh, politics. What we see, by the way, is that uh, Europe and US are not in the same place. Uh, 15 or 20 years uh, ago, the GDP per capita of Europe and US was the same. Today, uh, twice higher in the US. The US made the U-turn of digital. You have this Google, this uh, Amazon. We need to have competitiveness in Europe. That's why we pushed the European Commission to have this uh, pro-business agenda. And the president of the commission, Ursula von der Leyen, announced in her speech in July that she will do much more uh, to support business. We wait to see that. And not only we wait, we will push to have that. So this is uh, our stance. So um, the Federal Reserve announced some probably uh, uh, lower uh, interest rates in uh, September. This will help probably to boost uh, the, the growth uh, in US. At least the stock market are reacting positively uh, in current days. Fabrice Le Sachet, Vice President of Medef, thank you so much thank for joining us. Thank you for us. having me. Thank you. That's it for this special edition of People in Profit. Thanks for watching. And remember, you can catch up with this and all our previous episodes on our website, france24.com, or listen to them wherever you get your podcasts. If you have any questions or comments, you can also reach out to us on social media. Until next time, bye-bye.